Hey, 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 you beautiful twin flames, and welcome back to Tarot for You 444. I'm so delighted that you're with me today. I've got two new decks, and the first one is the Game of Thrones Tarot, and the second one is the Magdalene Oracle. And so I wanted to uh, use these decks today. I've got the Magdalene Oracle here and also Game of Thrones Tarot there. And I want to delve into Divine Masculine today so that we can get a clearer understanding of what's going on. I know many of you are falling back into 3D patterning, allowing others to make you feel small or make you feel like you're not worthy of love in some kind of way for those of you who are seeing those patterns coming about i really want you to understand that they are a reflection of what's going on with you internally okay so just know that everything is fine unless you change your perception about it so instead of seeing the glass half empty, I want you to see the glass half full despite the circumstances that you may find yourself in or the difficulties that you may find yourself in. Okay, the only truth is love. The rest is an illusion. If something's not showing up in a loving way, then you know it's not the truth. Okay. So I'm going to pull some cards now. Just want you to see that I'm shuffling on camera first. This deck's a little bit harder to deal with because it's bigger. <laughs> but it's so beautiful. Look at the beautiful front of the of the deck in the Magdalene Oracle. I really love it. The energy feels amazing. And so we're ready to go and I feel like three is a really great number right now. Three is a beautiful number for the twins. The coming together of the twins under God, under the divine, you know, under divinity. Okay. So let's see what's going on with him now. We'll take a look at the bottom of the decks first. We have War and Peace. And then we also have the Justice card coming up from, from the Game of Thrones tarot here. Okay. So let's let's put these energies together now and realize that the divine masculine is looking at who is his enemy and who is his friend who has always been there to be nurturing and loving and who has walked all over him many divine masculines have without meaning to <laughs> without meaning to have tested their divine feminines and justice will prevail so if you feel like you've been tested by your divine masculine in some kind of way you know as long as you stay in a space of unconditional love know that justice will prevail he's well aware that you have been you know standing in your own power and also perhaps even ignoring him dare i say ignoring him so not everyone's ignoring their divine masculines but many of you pull your energy away because you can't handle the pain because it really does feel like death Okay, you open your, yourself up to someone completely and 
I don't know. I think when... Uh, uh, I don't know where I heard this before, but, you know, some say that when you make love to the person that you're truly in love with, you know, I think it's actually a Chinese cultural thing, but they say that the woman who is opened up truly by her masculine, you know, suffers little deaths. And they, they call these little deaths, um, you know, orgasms, basically, because it's like when she gets to that point of arousal, you know, it's not just, um, you know, in ancient traditional um, spiritualism, you know, when two people make love and under Chinese culture, it's it's not actually just, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, you know, and then we fall asleep. It's it's an opening up of the feminine. And at one point throughout that, there is this, you know, what they say is little deaths occurring within her. And it's it's this point of resistance where she was starting to open to him and then it becomes so impossible to not be there for him as in you know he overcomes her with his power and I feel like many divine feminines are going through this like it it really kind of doesn't matter what kind of off balanceness there's been in the connection they still know that they suffer these little deaths all the time. You know, it's like they can't really do anything wrong. Number one, because they are you. And number two, because, you know, the divine feminine knows that no one else can open her in the same way. There's a beautiful song by Josh Groban. I don't think the song is by him, but it's You Raise Me Up. Many, many different singers have sung it, but the one, the one by Josh Groban is really great, you know. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up. Da, 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 da. I'm not sure of all the words. It's been a while since I heard it. I am strong. You raise me up to more than I can be. So divine masculine is spending some time realizing this. You raise me up so I can climb on mountains, you know. It's this beautiful energy and... <laughs> like I'm saying, I said before, you know, it just doesn't matter what he does. The divine feminine can't help but love him. You know, if you see, <laughs> this man looks like the devil here, doesn't he? He's being a devil. But it's not just that. It's not that they're doing it purposefully. In fact, many of them have been through an awful lot recently, which is why the tower is here. And the divine feminine has been holding light for them. And many, many divine masculines who aren't spiritually awake really don't know what to do. Because they can feel her kind of, but they're not really intuitive enough to know what she's going through. If they are spiritually awake and they can feel her, and many of them are experiencing this sadness that the divine feminine has experienced in the separation. And so he's thinking about how nurturing the connection has been, even in his absence. He's thinking about how wonderful... She's been holding the light. You know, this, this looks like a tree and it also looks like a candle to me. It's just a beautiful card, the prophet. Many of them are realizing that without divine feminine in their life, 
they would be going on the wrong path whether they're spiritual or not that's the realization they're coming to and so this coldness that's gone on for both of them in the recent past for many divine masculines and feminines is turning itself around both divine masculine and feminine have been closed off in the past in the recent past and this is because the the reflection here is love so you need to go through the darkness to understand the light it's only when you've been at your worst that you can see the light and then after that the transformation can occur you know how so many people can say you know keep going keep going you know the darker it gets it means that you know it's nearly the end and there's going to be some sort of, sort of transformation at the end and people go yeah 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 whatever you know but this is what's happening is that you know when you've been in the dark for so long like the divine masculine has been going through this dark night of the soul you start to realize that there is light let's be cliche at the end of the tunnel and this light is the light from the divine feminine you know he felt hungry for her he felt ravenous for her you know many divine masculines would say you know i acted like a dog i acted like i wasn't myself and so many of them have not been sleeping well have not been coping very well in this darkness you notice the darkness here there's so much darkness and the thing that keeps pulling them to the light is the feminine we have magdalene here the essence of the feminine the unconditional love If you've ever been hurting and if you're a twin flame you will have been hurting so you'll know but you want to be cared for in a nurturing way you want to be understood I mean you may just want to be listened to you don't necessarily want any advice you just want someone to listen to you and the divine masculine's kind of realizing that there is no one else that will listen to him like the divine feminine and so he's still battling what's going on with him he's still battling himself and some of the people around him but he's starting to realize that with divine feminine whether that's in a telepathic connection or in a literal 3d connection he doesn't have to do it alone you notice there's two people in this boat here helping one another out all of these other cars showed him being alone and the divine feminine was also feeling very alone you know even the star card here that we saw earlier you know this is supposed to be a celebration card a healing card a wish wishing you know a wish granting or on its way but see the darkness that he's been shrouded in also shrouded the divine feminine because she longed for him you can see her longing for him here looking quite dumbfounded about what's going on it's like i don't know what's going on here i can't work this out some divine feminines having difficulty feeling them feeling their divine masculine in you know the 5d
So let's pop these cards back in the Game of Thrones tarot deck and see what he wants to say to the feminine now. It almost feels as though I want to say crucifixion, you know. They've been crucified in their in their current life. So much going on. The world energy, wow, as well. Look at those cards just flew out. So we have the six of cups here in reverse. He knows. He knows that this is meant to be. He knows that this is meant to be. He's not quite sure exactly how it's going to come together, but he knows it's meant to be. And there's a secret here. Wow. There's a secret here and the secret is, I love, I love that bird there. You see that bird? It kind of reminds me of the phoenix rising. And then we literally have the sun and the dragon here. Howl at, I don't know if dragons howl at the sun. <laughs> but the truth is here and there's a yes. Yes, I want to move forward with this. I've even taken time to contemplate this. And for many of them, there is a huge undertaking to come to you. It may be another side of the world thing. It may be a language barrier. It may be a cultural difference of some kind. It may just be that they're married or you're married. Or that they haven't got enough money. But they, got, they don't care about this. The truth is that they have to come through, you know, this is their truth. The truth is that no matter how difficult it is, they know that it's their journey. And so they're going to argue a little bit more with some of the people in their life until they've had enough. All right. They may even argue with themselves a little bit more. They're going to compensate who they need to compensate. And then they are coming back with a vengeance. But in a good way. They're going to start working. I love this. This is the seven of coins, the eight of coins, and then the nine of coins. Wow. They're working to build it. No more small stuff with the page. You know, this is what you were getting before Divine Feminine. Little small tidbits or tidbits. I, I can never remember how to say that. But it's this, it's this Brian Adams song coming through too. You know, everything I do, I do it for you. Everything I do, I do it for you. Let me just shuffle the Magdalene, Magdalene deck again and see what the last main message is here. Divine Feminine may have felt tired and exhausted herself from the absence of the masculine or if he has been communicating it'll feel like he's not really there that's all about to change wow here we go making a decision to come back again with the lovers and this is really you know I want to I want to love you for a long time. I know you're my person. I want to give you my my whole self. 
And the Divine Feminine, if she can get into a physical entanglement, I'm going to call it an entanglement. <laughs> you know what I mean. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. If she gets into a real physical entanglement <laughs> with her divine masculine, it's going to blow their minds because the energy that it creates is coming again from the Magdalene. Pure essence, true love, unashamed love. You notice here how you know, there's this fiery energy around the Magdalene. But there's also this really pure essence from her. She can close her eyes and know that her divine masculine is with her. And she can know that he's there even when he may not be physically there. And that's liberating. It's really liberating to do that. Connecting in with, you know, your third eye or your higher consciousness and knowing that this is deep. This connection is really deep. It's been written in the stars. You know, if you believe in past lives, you've been through many past lives together. Some people don't, but Let's just say your souls have known one another. <laughs> you have the same soul, but you've known each other for a very long time because you are the same. You are the same soul. So, this has kind of been a really serious reading. There's no real mucking around happening today. But that's okay. Wow, we then have this Sophia energy here, which is also another name for Divine Feminine. It's the opening of the flower, it's the opening of the essence, it's feeling back into the heart space, getting that Kundalini rising knowing that this is far deeper than any soulmate connection that she'll ever discover. The depth of this goes beyond time and space. It can be seen in nature. It can be felt in the energy around. And it's so pure and so beautiful that it transcends time. <laughs> I love it. Look at this. For those of you who believe in past lives, we have the past life card here. Take it how it resonates for you today. What a beautiful message from these decks today. Divine Masculine needing the love and the support and the essence of the feminine knowing that you know he means well but he's been going through an awful lot so I hope this reading resonates for you today it's you know I was kind of muck around today and have a bit of fun Little Red Riding Hood was looking a little bit too serious for my liking. <laughs> but maybe the next one will be a little bit funnier. I don't know. Just really try and open up your heart space, Divine Feminine. That's the message for right now. Open up your heart space. You know, it's really easy to close off if you're not getting the results that you want in the 3D. But right now isn't the time to close off because they really, really need you. They need your support. Okay, I'm sending you so much love from Australia and I hope you have a beautiful day, night, afternoon, evening or morning wherever you are in the world. Thank you for choosing me and if you need me, my details are in the description box below and I'll talk to you real soon.
Bye, everyone. Bye.